God started the formation of the world with a word. In the beginning, God said, let there be light, and there was light. God also said that as his children, if we got faith the size of a mustard seed, we can speak to mountains in our life and cause these mountains to move. Amen. Amen. I've instructed everyone to do something with the exception of our dear Sister Lynn. And your vehicle needs to go on the side over there so they can watch it. Okay. Amen. 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 Don't go now because I'm speaking. Amen. 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 <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good to see you all here. Let's continue to pray for Brother Bill. He's on the weather this morning. He had a, te a, a, a temperature this morning. Let's continue to pray for him. Let's continue to pray for Brother Lewis, Brother Lewis and their sister, Florita. They're still getting things together as it relates to their house. Amen. Yes. Let's continue to pray for each other. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's why when I looked and saw you, I said, oh, I forgot to say something. That's what I ran out there to do. Amen? Amen. Amen. You cover too. Amen. Amen. <laughs> good to see you all here. Yes, sir. Amen. I know that the Lord has been good to you. I can tell yes, how you're looking. Amen. Amen. God is good and he's good all the time. All the time. All the time God is good. Yes, I want us to understand, too. In, first of all, I did not do this right. Thank you all for joining us. Hey, man, he just got up there and went to talk and ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Thank you all for joining the Anderson Street Community Church of Christ on this Sunday morning. I know you could have been doing anything you wanted to do, but you decided to give this old country preacher an opportunity to speak some words to you. Amen. Thank you for that. It won't take much of your time. Amen. 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 It ain't got much to do with the fact that Dallas play early. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be much of your time. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. Our today's lesson is entitled, Details Matter with God. Yes. And I took that lesson from Genesis chapter 7. All this reading that Brother Junior read into you here, now this could be a lesson for a whole lot of stuff up here. People can take this right here and beat people across the head all kinds of ways. Mm -hmm. Guess what your preacher going to preach on? And the Lord <coughs> shut Amen. him in. Amen. Amen. That's all I want you to be concerned about. Yeah, there was two of every kind and all that. Went into the ark. We all know the story. That's right. Noah been praying forever. Been crying out the Lord is coming for nobody listen to somebody's rain. He's crazy. <laughs> it ain't raining so many years. This crazy man's about some rain. Quit mocking us. <laughs> I got a whole lot of stories I can tell you about that guys. But I'm not. <laughs> this is what I want you to concentrate. They entered. They went in as God had commanded. Mm -hmm. And he showed me. Shut him in. Amen. That's all I need. God wants to be worshipped specifically and detailed. Uh, Amen. Well, Amen. Well. Amen. Suppose. They didn't go in two by two. Mm. 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 The male donkey gone on, and the female donkey around there. I'm coming in with the stallions. I don't know about knowing with you. <laughs> Amen. 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 Suppose that the donkey had just bumped. Mm. I ain't going in with you, donkey. <laughs> I don't want to, I'm going in with the stallion. We got the stallion and the, the, the third lady donkey. Yeah. <laughs> God commanded for Noah to get him to go in two by two. That's right. Details matter. Yes, sir. With the law. Yes, it seems sir. like it's been a small thing, wouldn't it? But as long as he knows he got two donkeys, what, what, what difference would it make for him to get in a two by two? Just see, go back and see if you got them. <laughs> right? God said, do it this way. That's right. We must serve him in a manner that is pleasing to him. Yes, sir. Amen. According to Galatians 1 and 10. Now, Noah was a godly man. He had a great effect on his household. They were led by Noah. Mm -hmm. Stop right there. There it is. Male and female mm -hmm. is written that way for it could have been. Don't F come before M in the alphabet? It does. Well, then why couldn't it be the female and the male? It's a reason it's printed this way. <laughs> Amen. There you go. There you go. Talking about male got to lead us around. Now, that. <laughs> stay focused and stay with the preacher. All right. He was a godly man. He was led by the Lord, and he led the family into the ark. Mm -hmm. According to Genesis 6, 8, 9. Noah had preached over a hundred years. Over a hundred years. Mm -hmm. To everybody he could find, he preached to. How many did he save? Eight of them. Mm -hmm. We sometimes get caught up in thinking that because we preach a certain lesson, we're supposed to say the word. Mm -hmm. well. No. No. God wants you to preach the word. 
That's right. That's he right. going to do the thing with the audience. That's right. Amen. That's Amen. Right. Y'all ain't hear me yet. Yeah, we did. Right. Yeah, we did. He, you play. You Preacher, you tell me, say, Brother Stanley, uh, how y'all doing over there? How y'all doing down there? That's what we doing, fine. Amen. I see y'all had a baptism. They see the baptism out there. They go, <laughs> y'all just growing. I said, uh -huh. that's how you measure now, bro? No. Well, uh oh. Well, well, I'm just saying. I saw it out there, and I just—I know that's another addition to the law. You, you, you measure our growth based on the number of people we baptize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That being the case, how many folks have I baptized in here? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Sure. Amen. Amen. What are you gonna take away from our growth? Mm -hmm. There you go. Hello. Amen. Amen. Do like God say do. Let the rest of the stuff. Be taken care of by the God that does that. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. If we had control of the door, yeah, mm. I told you we're going to talk about this right here because yeah. Noah didn't shut the door. I want y'all right. to understand. Right. Mm -hmm. God shut. It. Yes, Amen. sir. Amen. If God had waited on Noah, shut. It. <laughs> Noah would have some people on there. The ones for. The one for be on there. Mm. Amen. Y'all ain't hear me yet. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Cause you know the book and then we'll... <laughs> you know, so I got some skills. You know, you're gonna need this when you when everybody gone. <laughs> man, I'm your man. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, Pook and them will talk to me. Pook and them will talk us into doing anything. Yes, they you know, will. Right. Y'all ain't hear me. Yes, yes we, we are. are. So like, get on down. <laughs> we <laughs> understand. We need to do what God reveals us to do. Regardless, <coughs> hey, come, Lord. Pookie, he can make it. Mm. Don't shut it, Lord. Lord. You know what? Noah, move. <laughs> let me shut this door. <laughs> because you're going to have to deal with it. You let Pookie get on whatever you want to, you're going to find an animal that little Pookie can cook somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have one or something. Yeah, right. Hello? Hey, you, know, you, know, you know little Pookie. Yeah, little Pookie yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if we worship God like we're supposed to, and let God be God, we won't have to worry about who's in, who's out. Amen. 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 God shut the door when it's time. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Amen. Dave's lesson is designed to let you know that because every detail matter of God, we need to get about doing our job and taking care of the detail. Amen. What, what detail? Dot, 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 in our own lives. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Watch out there now. Here come the middle. I'm right. I'm in my house. I see my neighbor tree being cut down. I go outside and say, I want my tree cut down. And they cut my tree down just like they did my neighbor. Except for I don't go clean my stuff up every day. My neighbor clean their stuff up every day so they can come back and cut it down again. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. hmm. But I'm supposing that they're going to come back and give me the same treatment. That my neighbor, you're, you're not finished cutting my tree down yet. You're going to come. You have to move that stuff before we can cut again. No, that ain't what I saw. Mm -hmm. I saw y'all cutting down my, my neighbor's tree. I didn't, did, we didn't. We don't get this stuff up now. I'm telling you this so that, because this actually happened this week. I'm telling you this because I would be remiss if I got mad at my neighbor for cleaning up their own stuff. I'm looking at the one and saying to myself, that ain't what I saw. Mm -hmm. That wasn't the details of the matter. You didn't tell me that y'all didn't clean this stuff up. Well, detail matters because you found out too late that, hey, he got some stuff down he got to get cleaned up, right? Mm -hmm. And Luke chapter 16, verse 10, one who is faithful in a very little is also faithful in much. Yeah. Did y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And one who is dishonest in very little is also dishonest in much. Amen. Man. We walk around sometimes, we think, we tell these little pink, blue, and strawberry lies, mm -hmm. and think they don't matter with the Lord. Mm. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. These little details matter. Amen. Amen. You be standing Amen. at the pearly gate, and you check all the boxes until you get to the colorful lie section. Mm. Oh, mm. Lord, you told a pink lie, mm. yellow mm. lie, mm. orange lie, mm. purple mm. lie. You have 15 okay. different color lies down there. Mm. Mm. And your, your only dispense is but they were colorful lives. <laughs> you ain't getting into heaven with me. Amen. God shut the door away from you. Amen. 
Mm-hmm. You understand? You wouldn't, wouldn't want me up there with all my little colorful lies. I'm running from lies. Amen. <laughs> I don't want lies to follow me all the days of my life. Amen. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. Amen. We have to catch a grip as Christians and understand something. What we say, the smallest details as Christians, they matter, folks. They do. Amen. Your word matters. Amen. To people. Amen. Amen. If your word as a Christian doesn't matter, then something is look in the mirror. Christ ain't gonna be looking back at you. Mm. If your word as a Christian does not matter to people, when you look at your spiritual mirror, Christ is not there. Mm-hmm. Amen. Oh, Pastor, don't say that to me. You heard what I said. Mm-hmm. If we are not careful, we'll start thinking that the little thing we do to each other don't matter. That's mm-hmm. right. The little laughing behind each other's back. Amen. Mm. Well. The gossip. Amen. The will for disobedience. Mm-hmm. Pink, yellow lies. Mm-hmm. Worshiping to keep others in the dark. Working to keep others in the dark. These things matter. Mm-hmm. Amen. That's right. This morning we said something about your intent. I'm going to talk a little bit about it before the end of this lesson. Your intent and what you do matters to God. Amen. Amen. Even at the end of the day, you're wrong. Your intent and what you did matters. That's Amen. Right. I got a story in the lesson to be yours. The story is entitled, You Ask It. Okay. A little girl was talking to her teacher about whales. The teacher said it was physically impossible for a whale to swallow a human because even though it was a very large mammal, its throat was very small. Mm-hmm. The little girl stated, Jonah in the Bible was swallowed by a whale. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The teacher got irritated. Uh-oh. She re- reiterated that a whole, uh, uh, that a whale could not swallow a human. It's physically impossible. Mm-hmm. The little girl said, "Well, when I get to heaven, I ask Jonah." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The teacher said, "Well, what if Jonah didn't go to heaven?" Mm-hmm. She said, "Well, when you get where you going, you ask it." <laughs> Amen. 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 That's a good. You gonna sit there and tell me what God has told me, what to do, how to believe, but it ain't important to you. So you gonna tell me it's impossible? Mm. Mm. Well, my God, nothing's impossible. Nothing. Amen. 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 Nothing's impossible. Amen. Well, my. God. Amen. Amen. You want it? You ask for it. Amen. Amen. Stay in him. Yeah. Have your intent the best you know how. Nobody's going to ask you to walk perfect. Amen. The person that's asking you to walk perfect is not perfect. Amen. That's right. I don't care if you're your preacher. Amen. I've never known my preacher do no wrong. <laughs> well, you ain't looking at your preacher right Because <laughs> I know my folks come tell me quick. Now, listen. <laughs> Now, you know you could have said that a little bit better. Amen. 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 If I could say it a little bit better, I need to say it a little bit better, right? Amen. Amen. Well, in the Lord, mm-hmm. when He gives you details mm-hmm. about how to better yourself, see, people be wanting the Lord to change all of a sudden. Lord, help me, change me, right. make me into what you want me to be. Right. Mm-hmm. And He's doing it a little bit at a time every day. Right. We don't. Realize that because we don't see the big change. That's right. Mm-hmm. Ten years from now, find someone that know you today and ask them, "Have you changed?" And they say, mm-hmm. well, they gonna read you. Yep, yeah. mm-hmm. you sure have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I pray when they read you, they read you for the better. Amen. 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 As Christians, we get better. That's right. Amen. Our details and our message to each other should be about Christ, and it should be Christ-centered. And we should know that little things we do, how we do what we do, when we say what we say, matters. Amen. Amen. We give our word. It should matter to somebody if we give our word, too. Yes. That's right. They should be sitting around saying, well, you know, them folk down there at that church told, told me they were going to help, but uh, I ain't seen nobody. Mm-hmm. That was a month ago. A month ago, a church told you they were going to help you, and they haven't helped. What they say? We still having meetings. Mm. Mm. <laughs> we got to decide if we want to give them a hundred dollars for this light bill or half of it. Mm. 
People in this community right here, they have a lot of meetings. Right they have a lot of meetings. By the time I get to what we going to, the Lord has put on my heart for us to do, they about five meetings down the line. <laughs> and then they end up saying, well, this is what we're going to do. Something I said at the beginning. Mm -hmm. But it ain't coming from who they want to hear from, so what? Mm. All I want to do is make sure that what I give, the good, the best intent is given, right? right. As a Christian, people are going to realize that Amen. top one, that's a preacher. He ain't going to tell you no lie. Right. But you know folks are telling quick. I don't care if you're a preacher. They show you. <laughs> he a man, ain't he? That's what they right. He a lie. Just like any other man, a lie. <laughs> yep. Amen. They don't right. realize that preachers have done way, way more study of the Bible than any normal man. Amen. Amen. So the tendency for any preacher to just lie, to be a habitual liar, is almost impossible. <laughs> if he's studying the Bible. Right. Amen. 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 Will he lie? Sometimes? Yeah. Well, has it happened? Yeah. yeah. But a willful, habitual liar? No preacher. Amen. Amen. Not Amen. now, now, now. Amen. 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 Not even yours. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I don't know, Pastor. Don't he just lie all the time. So you see, keep going to hear him lie? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You right about that. Things that make you go. Hmm. So y'all get out there and say, like, oh, I'm just going because I don't, he don't be talking about nothing. Why be careful? <laughs> folks going to ask you, what you going for? He ain't talking about nothing. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hey, man, something Amen. wrong with them folks out there. They going out there and listen to that man. He ain't talking about nothing. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you he ain't talking about nothing. Hey, Amen. Yeah, man. Amen. He's all right. Details. Now, yes, sir. If God tells you he wants you to be the best you can possibly be, He's not telling you to be perfect. He's not telling you to be like nobody else. He's not telling you to do the thing that other people would want you to do in that person itself. He's telling you to be the best person that you can be for him. Amen. 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 And when you do those things that make you the best person you can be, what type of thing? Let's name a couple and then we're going we're gonna to be out of here. A lot of us like to be still for idleness. A lot of us. We, we, we go home from work. We hit that button on the TV. We get in front of the TV. Don't get me wrong. You need, you should watch television. I'm not going to tell you not to watch. You should. And if you got some shows on there that you can relate to, watch them. Mm -hmm. But don't let your mind be so idle that you forget to thank the Lord or at least to even be in the house. Concentrate on the Lord that day. Amen. 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 Is your routine to going to work, coming home, turn on your favorite show, then your meditation will be at the end of the night. Yes. Amen. You can't leave the Lord out. Amen. 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 I don't care how many hours I watch six hours or whatever that the last six hours, you better not go to sleep. <laughs> you better do some meditating on the Lord. Amen. Amen. Tell him to direct your step. Ask him to be with you when you come in contact with people you may not have never met before. Ask him to go out before you in front of those that you met all all this time. Amen. Ask him to protect you from any hurt, harm, or danger that may come your way, seen or unseen. Yes, sir. Amen. Ask him to place upon your heart and your mind the word he will have you to say to people that you meet. Amen. Amen. Ask him to direct your step. Yes, sir. Every day. Amen. Every day. Amen. Amen. Details matter about what you ask the Lord for in your prayers. Yes. 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 Now lay me down to sleep. Pray to the Lord. On, that's good. That's cute. That's nice. <laughs> well, what details in your prayer do you have relative to your fellow man? Amen. Mm. Amen. That's it. Your sick family member, your sick church member. Amen. Where are those references in now? Lay me down to sleep. Amen. Mm. Details matter. Amen. What you ask him for, he's going to deliver as long as you're doing what you know to do the best way you know how to do Amen. it. Amen. Yeah. If you haven't come to the Lord, and if you're not a member of the Lord, I'm going to tell you how to do it. You come by way of hearing this word. Now, I say that because a lot of times people hear the word, but they don't listen to it. Amen. That's right. See, you know, this conversation goes here that you hear the word, you listen to it enough to where you believe it. Amen. That's right. Once you believe it, you do something about it. If I believe it's going to rain, guess what I'm going to do? You when I go it. out, I'm taking an umbrella. Amen. Amen. So if I believe that Jesus Christ is, is, the, is, the, is the son of the living God, then, and, and everything he's standing for, that he's gone back to heaven, he's now standing on, on the right hand of God, and that he's prepared to play for me, I'm going to repent of the stuff that I know that I'm doing wrong right now. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because I believe Jesus got something for me other than H-E-double hockey stick. Amen. Amen. I'm going to repent. 
And I'm going to confess my fault, especially to the ones I hurt. Amen. Yes, yes, and sir. I knew I hurt. Amen. Amen. I hurt you when I was in fault. That's right. Please forgive me. Don't stand around waiting on them and say, well, I accept it then. They might not ever tell you that. Amen. Amen. You do you and let God do them. Amen. 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 And if you haven't Amen. been baptized, you go down to that little great water baptism, you go down and you wash away all those sins of fault, all those sins that you know about, all that gossiping, all that backbiting, all that cursing, all that amen cursing. Amen. Amen. Call that a word, cursing. Yes, amen. Amen. Yes, amen. Listen, amen. man, I think I'm going to work my way around to that sermon that I got. There are some folks that make a preacher cut. Amen. 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 So y'all know. Christians curse. Amen. 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 Ooh, I know they're looking at me out there. What did he just say? Let me repeat. <laughs> Christians curse. Yes, indeed. Well, if they cursing, they ain't no Christian. If they cursing, you call them not a Christian, you judge them. Uh-oh. There it is. I had a Christian uncle who cursed me all the time. <laughs> called me John Brandon. My name wasn't no John Brandon. <laughs> you know that sit down, John Brandon. What? <laughs> hot name, John Brandon. Who is hot name? <laughs> <laughs> who is John Brandon? You ask him if you want to. I'll show you who it is. He can get away. <laughs> <laughs> but ask somebody why they cussing you out. In a language you don't understand. <laughs> Amen. 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 Christian, if you're a mom, you curse. Amen. 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 Woo, yes, Lord, let me. <laughs> Lord, forgive me for what I'm thinking about saying. Amen. Some of y'all got well jobs at your house now. Don't play with the preacher. Amen. 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 Well, John. <laughs> what John is all that chain for? Well, last year about this time, preacher. <laughs> And yeah, I've been fussing about, about the situation ever since. <laughs> like about two hundred dollars in that job. <laughs> <laughs> hey man! Yeah, all you don't just cuss folks out just because you're cussing folks. <laughs> Preachers already told us we cuss. I ain't giving you no license to go out there cussing people out. Amen. 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 Cuss somebody right. to go to sleep if you want to. Right. You right. Better get yourself right. Yes, sir. Cussing right. folks out don't make you right. Amen. They might, they might just make you just not have the right word to say at that time. Because most time to not. When people curse, they run out of words to say to you. Amen. 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 You sure know what to say. I know. Amen. But as a Christian, but as a Christian, we refrain from doing it as much as is in us. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Amen. We refrain because we know people are still growing too. That's right. That's right. Everybody is not as grown as we are in the scripture. That's Amen. right. Now you have to give for people. But well, they haven't grown up. It's been 20 years. Listen to me real, real careful. Mm -hmm. Some preacher going to say this and I got to extend the invitation. I ain't got time. Y'all know this. There are some people who are going to stay a baby. Mm -hmm. It's their job. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? They are put in your life for a reason. What, to irritate me? Maybe so. Mm -hmm. Maybe that irritation to teach you some patience. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Don't question the lie that other people play in your life. Amen. Amen. God put them there. Yes, indeed. If you don't want them there, you need to talk to the man who put them there. Amen. 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 I didn't put them there. You better talk to God. Amen. Amen. You tell me you want something and God puts certain things in your life and you start hollering, oh, Lord. <laughs> what you say you want something? Mm -hmm. What you want? Well, I don't have my million dollars yet. Well, it's coming. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. In the meantime, you're gonna be uh, irritated a little bit. Amen. 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 You're gonna be discomforted a little bit. Amen. Yes, sir. I don't know anybody who was so upset or mad about being broke mm -hmm. until they forgot they were rich when they got Powerball. Amen. Mm. Oh, Lord, I wish I could enjoy this, but I just was so rich. I was just so poor for so long. <laughs> but you got $240 million. I know I understand that, but Lord, I just can't take my mind off the back because I'm 65. <laughs> and you're just making me rich. Just making Lord, me rich. Lord, I just don't know. What I'm... Do you know anybody like that? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not at all. If you do, you get away from Yes, sir. Because they're going to be complaining no matter what. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> if you want to be in a position 
for the Lord to help you with the details of your life, you can do so. By being in the Lord, being baptized. If you sin, confess your faults one to another. Come back to the Lord before the last is telling it too late. Yes, sir. Thank you so very much for joining us today. Now, listen, until next time, be good to yourself and to each other. Amen.